sometimes because you are so struggling to contend with the discouragement that you may be feeling. I mean, I mentioned earlier, there have been two solid years of loss and grief in our family. We have lost eight family members in the past two years. A year ago this time, my mother uh, slipped away to eternity. I was holding her. She was laying in my arms, literally, when she took her last breaths. And then this past August, just seven or eight months later, my mother-in-law, who was healthy and fine, she went to go take a nap in our home and never woke up. So just in the past year, the grief, the loss, of course, that compounded with what we've all experienced this year with the pandemic and over the past months, the racial unrest, the political concerns, everything that has happened globally, everything seems like it is just tilted on its axis just a little bit. And sometimes life can be so hard, one thing piled on top of the other, that sometimes like Elijah, all you can do is find enough energy to muster up some words in prayer, but you need a companion that you send out that has enough faith and enough patience to keep their eyes peeled to the horizon when you are not able to do it. This servant, this friend of Elijah six times was willing to go keep looking and keep looking and keep looking. And even when he didn't see anything, he was willing to walk beside Elijah in the process of watching God work something out on his behalf. Do you have people around you that love you enough, that are patient enough, that are discerning enough, that not only will they keep on looking when you are too discouraged to keep your eyes open and peeled to the horizon of what God is doing, but they are also so excited about when God moves that even when what they see just amounts to a cloud the size of a man's hand, they don't discount it, they don't devalue it, they come running back to you with the good news of what it is that they have begun to see God do. You need friends like that.